Well, let me vector in a slightly different direction. And for the benefit of the students that are in the audience, I, I would like to ask the panel. So in retrospect, and I know you all have gone to college, you all got different types of degrees, uh, but which college course did you pass on that you really wish you would have taken? Uh, and, and why? And secondarily, uh, what curriculums or courses do you feel are just absolutely essential for someone who's looking to kind of move into the area of, of telecommunications or internet infrastructure? And, and Jack, I think I'll start with you on that. Sure. Um, gosh, this, this is confession. Um, I, I'll answer the class I took but didn't attend. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually two uh, micro and macro economics and, and honestly I wish I had paid more attention in that than anything else. Uh, I was an engineer by education so uh, I spent more time you know at the lake drinking beer and doing other things. Um, so you know I mean clearly I think say it as a joke a little bit but I think if you're in the technical field a lot of times you look away from the things that round you really well and Things like our, you know, basic business background classes are things that, I mean, frankly, I've probably used more in the last, you know, five, ten years than than, than even my technical degree, uh, to to a lot of extent. So so I'd say that that for sure. And when I think about where, and make a little bit more of a of a broad statement around, if you look at engineering and computer science graduates in the U.S. over the last 10 years, it's in, de it's in decline, um, which is a kind of shocking statement for a country that has prided itself in innovation over the last, you know, 150 years. And, and that's alarming to me as an engineer, as, 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 a, as a father, you know, I, I, want, I want my kids to have a great future and um, not saying that you have to have engineering or computer science as the path to a great future, but it is, it is a great path, and I certainly hope to see those numbers turn around rather than, than continue on the path they've been over the last decade. I actually do think they will turn around because I think there's, you know, as, as it has been mentioned, there's so much opportunity in, in, in this type of field and, and many others that require good technical, strong technical background that that I'm real hopeful that, that we do see those things turn out, but that's that's where I'd say we need focus. I'll uh, also answer, my, I think my wife would say that the one class that I missed was diplomacy and tact, <laughs> but, or maybe compromise, <laughs> but um, the one class that I did not take that I really wish I took earlier in my career was accounting, ba basics of accounting. And I was an engineer, um, in terms rocket of scientist. rocket scientist, uh, astronautical engineer from the Air Force Academy, uh, heavily grounded in engineering. But as uh, my career grew, I would say that the importance of understanding accounting, especially uh, at a very deep level, and hopefully I've mastered many of the concepts at this point, but at a really deep level and early in your career, I think cannot be understated. The cliche is always that accounting is the language of business, but especially in this kind of an industry where um, there's a lot of money that, that changes hands in telecom infrastructure and being, under, being able to understand the underlying drivers behind that, why you're making those decisions early in your career, I think is, is fundamentally important. Um, the other thing I'd say as a contrarian view is that I wished I had taken some kind of a class, although I don't know of one that exists, that gives you the basics of sales training in college as well because so much of uh, your career, whether you're a direct salesperson or you're just tangentially related or interacting with salespeople, comes down to having some level of grounding in sales early on. Uh, those are the things that I kind of learned as I went along, but I wish I w had the opportunity to learn earlier. Uh, I'll build on it. I was fortunate here at CU to have the opportunity to spend a lot of time in the business school as well as the engineering school and those actually worked very well. Uh, I think the one thing is that there isn't one class that I wish I would have had. There's probably one that I wish would have been developed at that point in time, and that's really around uh, entrepreneurialism and then also innovation as well. So uh, when I went to school here, it was quite helpful to, to, to really dig into the, the deep financials. I, I did attend the micro and macro 
economics <laughs> classes, uh, statistics and the like as well, uh, but actually uh, left here as a software engineer uh, developing code. And so it's interesting how those things actually came to fruition, understanding the mechanics as far as how things work in the telecom industry, and also the implications as well from a business perspective. But the one thing is that I had to really learn, uh, working with some startups previously as well, is just that notion of innovation as well, and how that really works. And that wasn't available back uh, when I went to school here. So to the extent that you can participate in those types of classes, those are terrific. Yeah, you know, for me, um, I, I kind of agree with Art. Uh, accounting, I should have probably spent some more time on. Um, in fact, I spent no time on it. And, um, and, and I guess, you know, as I think about telecom and, and what we do, there's so many facets of the business. I, you know, across the board, I've been fortunate enough to work at a couple of companies that um, invest a lot in training of their people. And so there are those opportunities to learn the industry, some of the technology, those kinds of capabilities. But if you think about telecom, there's it ranges from an engineering and an operation side of the business to um, an entrepreneurial side of the business to a marketing and, and product development side of the business, corporate communications. There's so many facets that, um, depending on what your passion is, uh, you can you can go into and and take advantage of those training opportunities along the way. I am. Um I'm an economics and finance major, so for me, um, that, that has paid off in, in great dividends. Um, I wish I had paid better attention uh, to statistics, particularly when I worked for Dan. Um, that sent me back to the books a couple of times. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, there's, there's nothing I really uh, probably wish I had taken, although um, I did study something that didn't actually become as valuable. I didn't realize how valuable it would be until very later on. Um, and I had an opportunity to go and study um, another language, Japanese, in Japan. Um, and at the time, and for the first sort of 10 years afterwards, it really wasn't very clear to me how valuable that, was, that would be. Um, I didn't end up working for very long in, in Asia. But what it did teach me was um, a heightened sense of reading people and an extraordinary ability, I hope, I hope I've still got it, but the ability to listen to people. Um, and I think to the extent you can sprinkle throughout your education something that is a little left field that adds uh, sort of more quali a qualitative nuance to your education, I think will always stand you in great stead. Now, I've cornered the market of useless languages. Not only do I speak Japanese, which is very, very limited, I speak Afrikaans and Zulu too, because I grew up in South Africa. So if you're looking to have a conversation in some very marginal languages around the world, I'm your guy. Um, <laughs> But they certainly, they certainly give me the ability, hopefully, to be a great listener and have a broader perspective um, in applying my education. Dan, did we skip over you? You well, just did everything right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <I> took, uh, <laughs> on the language front, I took beginning Spanish three times and never got hired in a C, so <clears throat> I wouldn't do that again. 